everybody, I hope you're all doing well. So yesterday I managed to finish off most of the leaves with the seeding stitch. So this is the lovely navy blue-esque um, leaves. Like I said yesterday, I've left this leaf um, just because I haven't done this bit yet. And I know from doing these ones, you need to make sure you've done the background before you do the foreground. So I'll come back to this final leaf. Who knows, you might notice a big difference. <laughs> I might have gotten better at doing them. But today we're gonna be moving on to doing this hill here. Now it's in long and short stitch again. And I feel like I'm getting better at long and short stitch. So I'm looking forward to starting this. So we're doing the first color first and it's gonna be a double thread to start with. So I'm just going to do my casting on stitch. So, like so. And Philippa says in the instructions, with your first colour in the double thread, come up at the base of a, of a long stitching line halfway across the hummock and go down the blue and go down the blue outline. Then stitch halfway across the hummock to the right with alternating long and slightly shorter stitches over the blue printed line. Now that's often where I've been going wrong the other ones. I've maybe made my short stitch too, too short in, that's what I found with the stag anyways, I got quite confused. So I'm definitely going to make sure I'm not doing those too short. She also says densely cover the blue outline by keeping the stitches very close together, which is something else that I need to work on. So we're going to start halfway across the hummock, which I think is here, which is where I put my seeding stitch as well, so that's handy. So we're going to come up and then down through there, remembering to do the two-handed stitching. So long, don't be quite short stitch, but not too short. I guess it's like when we were doing the wave leaf where the three quarters to stitch was the short stitch and Philippa did say in that instructions that sometimes that's a better way of phrasing it. Long and three quarter. Oh, got my nails in and up here. long one down the short and I think I need to already change my thread I think I made it slightly too short today which isn't a problem I've had before <laughs> so we've got Bella staying for a few days and she's watching me stitch today she's not helping me she's just she's just keeping an eye on me making sure that I'm stitching two-handedly like Philip has told me. She's Philippa's eyes and ears today whilst I stitch. <laughs> we had a lovely comment from Susan Murray who has just got her rabbit's kit and um, which I actually was packing some of those the other day so you might have got one which was packed by me and um, but you'll be enjoying this hill bit because if I remember rightly the rabbits does have some elements of this bottom bit in which means that you might be able to move on to the tree of life sooner than you think because you'll have done part of it and you'll be an expert in that bit which is what I really like about the kits how some of them grow on some of the um, lower level kits which I really like that that you can build your confidence up, which is definitely what I've been doing. <laughs> and it's amazing how quickly you can get the hang of it, especially with the instructions which you get with each kit, which Georgie hand draws for each individual kit has a different set of instructions. Sylvia LaBelle also left a lovely comment about the cruel stem stitch, which we've been doing a lot of, saying that she'd been struggling with it. It's one of those ones which looks deceptively easy, which I agree with, it does. And she went back and watched the video 
again as well, which is what's so great about those videos which Philippa has done, that you just go back again and again and again, and every time you get a little bit more from them, and you just improve that technique ever so, like just little bits every time, and you see a massive difference in your overall stitching. So I'm coming to the end of this thread. So I'm just gonna put my seeding stitching and get some. So more. this is how we're doing with the first colour. I will get back to you tomorrow when I finish this first colour and we'll be starting on with the second colour.